It is very important to be curious about biology for engineers and have the creative process that actually inspires novel designs, novel flying robots. If you look at small flying vehicles, small flying robots, such as nano quadcopters, or we have one here flying in the lab. Actually, if you see it, so I can catch it if I'm... Okay. So something like this weighs only a certain uh, a few grams and it needs very lightweight sensors. And there we can take inspiration from biology, from flies or bees they use only their visual system to avoid obstacles, for example. So this is a very powerful example of using visual sensors to avoid obstacles on quadcopters and do landing maneuvers and controlled flight. So swarming is a very powerful means of accomplishing complex tasks with small, cheap and simple systems. How nature does it is in examples of flocking birds or schools of fish is that each fish or each bird uses very simple navigation principles or ways or sensors as well. And like this, together as a collective system, they're able to provide very complex behaviors. So doing the same with robots can allow us to make very complex tasks. I think the next step for the aerial robotics field is to interact with the environment. And grasping or perching is one example for that. Once we have robots that can freely fly around and pick up objects from flight, we will be able to transport objects, perch to objects, observe the environment. The market value of drones over the next 10 years is estimated to be about $89 billion worldwide, which is huge. So there are a lot of tasks that we can do with flying robots, such as sensing pollution in forests, observing wildlife, protect animals from poaching, for example, or use them for search and rescue applications after tsunamis. So there is a huge field of applications. I'm very excited about the future of this field. What I think is important, though, to keep in mind that the applications are benefiting humanity, that we take the responsibility as well to build robots that are beneficial to society and used in an ethical and positive way.